Welcome back. Now, the UP staff of Palestine Group has submitted a resolution to the University of Pretoria Senate for review, which is happening tomorrow. Now, this resolution has called for measures to support Palestine's educational institutions and academics, as well as condemning the ongoing genocide in Gaza. Joining us now, I'd like to welcome University of Pretoria lecturer and a member of the UP staff for Palestine Group, Dr. Mark Wegerev. Uh, Dr. Wegerev, good day. Thank you so much for joining us on News in Focus on Hilal TV. Faraz, thank you very much for having me. No, it's an absolute pleasure. So, Dr. Wegerev, uh, my understanding is that the, 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 uh, there is a submission that's going to go to the Senate. As it stands, uh, what is the Senate's stance on the current genocide that is happening in Gaza? Well, so far, the UP Senate hasn't uh, taken a position, mm -hmm. and that's why this resolution is now going forward for discussion. And we certainly hope, as the staff for Palestine group, that's a solidarity group, that the Senate will consider this and will pass a strong resolution, as you mentioned, condemning you know, the ongoing genocidal action, the war crimes, the murders, and so on, and also you know, committing to collaborations with Palestinian institutions, academics, and also progressive Israeli academics who you know, are taking a clear stance, as many of them do, against or, um, what's going on, the genocide that's going on. I should just be clear that we have not, as a staff group, submitted the resolution. Okay. The resolution has been put on the agenda by the Dean of Law and will be, as a Senate member, will be considered by the Senate. But we, as a staff group, have been very supportive of this and we are mobilizing or trying to at least encourage our colleagues on the Senate to um, support this resolution, which we think is very important. It's important that any institution like the University of Pretoria takes a clear stand on this issue. Yeah, and I mean, the university is, you know, among the best within the country. And one of it, and I think you, you'd be able to tell more with regards to this, uh, Doctor, is the, support, the, the supporting material that you as the UPS staff for Palestine are going to submit. What is it that is going to be submitted that will really sway the Senate to support Palestinian uh, academics, as well as, most importantly, you know, giving them that opportunity to really condemn what is happening in Gaza? Yeah. Well, I think the resolution speaks for itself. And we mentioned, you know, some of the decisions that have been taken by important international bodies. I mean, what we're talking about is respect for the international multilateral system and, and rule of law in that system. And, and that's very important for the Palestine situation, but also for other, you know, tragic situations going on around the world, that we need to have a reliable, fair, objective international system and way of resolving these differences, such as the International Court of Justice. And we know that International Court of Justice has just recently handed down an advisory position. It's they've, as the International Court of Justice, they've looked at this, they have said that Israel's policies and the measures they're taking are racist, they are discriminatory, they are, which means they amount to an apartheid system that is being imposed with violence on the Palestinian people. That alone should be enough for any institution in South Africa or elsewhere to take a stance which distances themselves from this current day practice of apartheid. Mm. And especially given the history in South Africa, we should be aware of the importance of this. Mm. We should be aware of the importance of international solidarity. So. As you mentioned, UP, I mean, we are, we are proud. I'm proud of the institution. It's one of the highest ranked uh, higher education institutions in the country. It's the largest contact university. But we also have to be aware of our history. And we know very well that UP was established and was an institution of the colonial settler system in South Africa. It was an institution closely aligned or with and supportive in many ways of the apartheid regime. It's been through changes. It is still going through those changes and transformation. So I think a position today to stand with the oppressed Palestinian people, to stand against the clear racist apartheid system of Zionist Israel, and against, of course, the war crimes, the murders, the genocide. Standing against that is important 
for UP, it would reflect the kind of transformation that UP has been through. It was on the wrong side of history before in relation to apartheid. It needs to now position itself on the right side of history, standing against apartheid in Israel. And I believe it will. Mm. So I'm saying this with confidence in my colleagues uh, and the hope that the Senate will pass these important resolutions. You talk about the right side of history, uh, Dr. Wegerov. How much is education going to be important in an era where we have social media, where fake news can be distributed? And of course, you've got propaganda, whether it's through social media or even, you know, the commercial means of media. How much is education going to be important from your end, from the staff's end, in really giving a compelling case to the Senate? Well, it will have to be up to the senators to present the case. I'm not actually a member of the Senate. It's, it's the elite group of the most senior sort of academics, the deans, the heads of department, heads of centers, and so on at the University of Pretoria. So some of my colleagues in UP staff, Palestine, are Senate members. But each Senate member will be going there, will be having, applying their own conscience to this issue, an issue that we believe is a, one of the moral issues of our time that we have to take a stand on. We can't be sitting on the fence on. We need to take a stand against you know, the horrors that have been still committed every day in Palestine and against a racist and unjust system. So it will be up to the senators. The various senators will put forward their arguments We've been talking to our colleagues on Senate and others on campus, and we think it's very important that you know, people are well informed on the situation in Palestine, including, of course, the history of the situation. We all know this did not start on 7th of October, or we, sh we should all know by now. You know, there's a long history to this um, that led up to the situation, the tragic situation on October 7th, and the tragic situation that's going on now. One of the parts of the resolution is saying that we need to have more uh, discussion, workshops, awareness raising and information on the Palestine situation around uh, the, the campus of University of Pretoria. So we hope that education will go on. But as you're asking about the importance of education, we, we know across uh, so many fields, education is absolutely essential in this day and age in communications for people to be able to make their own informed decisions about news and what they're hearing and so on. But of course, across the technical fields as well, any country like Palestine or place like Palestine needs its doctors, its nurses, its, mm. uh, you know, its mechanics, its medics, its engineers and so on, its chemists. It's pharmacists. And, and tragically, we've seen what people are referring to as scholasticide in Palestine. Every university has been destroyed. Ed education has been completely destroyed across Palestine. So many um, intellectuals, academics, skilled professionals have been killed. And this is part of the genocide that is going on, that is killing people today. It's wiping out our history, our archives, uh, information, and it's killing the human resources that Palestine needs going forward. So I think it's also very important that the Senate of UP uh, passes this resolution, which also commits to supporting Palestinian academics and students now and also in the reconstruction that we hope will come. At some point, there must be a peace found in some way or other in Palestine, and there will have to be a reconstruction, and there will need to be skills and so on. And universities like University of Pretoria and many others around the world should be really putting their weight behind that reconstruction when that opportunity comes. But even now, we have students who've studied for years and now their education has stopped before they graduated. You know, I was very happy to see UCT had the arrival of six year uh, medical students coming from Gaza just the other day, and they're going to be able to finish their studies at UP, uh, sorry, UCT. Okay. I hope similar things will happen in UP in the future. You imagine you've studied medicine for five years. Oh. And now everything has stopped. So, um, you know, that we, when we can assist such students to finish and graduate, um, that would be great. And we know that certainly doctors are so needed in Gaza and other parts of Palestine at the moment. So we hope we'll be able to put in place programs like that, you know, across many fields, including engineering, food science and so on. I, I want to end off with this question, uh, uh, Dr. Wegerov. We've seen the Ivy Leagues in the United States universities, the protests that have happened there. We've seen right here in South Africa, the University of Advertisrand and the University of Cape Town, which are quote-unquote considered Ivy League universities in this country. How much does education, protest, awareness within educational institutions really bring a different perspective to what is happening across the world? And of course, especially touching what is currently happening right now in Gaza. 
that importance right there because you can do it on the streets, but if, it, it's, if it's getting done at an educational institution, and of course, I must stress, done so in a peaceful manner, there's some sort of a bigger impact that happens with regards to that. I think it's very important that we, I mean, we all make ourselves aware of these and we help make others aware of what is going on. You know, as citizens of the world, we need to be aware of and take responsibility for these things. As the University of Pretoria, in our mission and values, we're committed to engagement in society. We're committed to using our resources, intellectual and otherwise, to the greater good of humanity. And we need to see this coming through in the Senate resolution tomorrow. And of course, just, just the very discussion of it in Senate. This is on hundreds of senior academics. For, so for them to all engage in this discussion, become more aware of it and take a stance is already important. Um, and of course, you know, the, the horrors, as I've said, going on in Palestine now, close to 16,000 children killed and it's still going on, for example. I mean, we can't turn a blind eye to that. So all of us should do whatever we can to end that tragedy as soon as possible. We're calling you know, in the resolution also for that ceasefire that's been agreed at the UN Security Council mm. to be put into effect as soon as possible. So you know, we might feel like, are we making a big difference here in one university in South Africa? But the collective voice, the collective pressure, the disinvestment from so many institutions, people, and so on around the world does have an impact. It is having an impact. We saw in, when, in, with the ending of apartheid how that united pressure did have an impact. So we shouldn't look at it and say, I'm too small to bring a change, or my institution won't make a big difference. Every bit of extra pressure um, does help, does help to bring that change. And we have to stand for the right thing. You know, it's also our conscience, and tomorrow the conscience of our Senate members at UP which then reflect the conscience of our institution. We have to do the right thing. And I believe people around the world doing the right thing will bring the positive changes that we need. Dr. Ma Dr. Mark Wagerif, thank you so much for joining us here on News in Focus on Hilal TV. Much appreciated. Thank you for having me. No, absolute pleasure. That's Dr. Mark Wagerif, uh, Pretoria University lecturer and member of the UP staff for Palestine Group. Yeah, interesting what's going to be happening right over there. One of the top universities of South Africa, a massive litmus test for its uh, Senate and, of course, the higher powers within that university. Well, that's all we have for you here on News in Focus. From myself, Ross Patel, and the rest of the team in Johannesburg, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.